So Wave releases HEQ. I've been playing with this plugin for the last 20 minutes and it's a pretty nice plugin. The one thing I like about this plugin, the vintage options that it has. For example, if we look here at the high frequencies, you have this little option here, you click it, this opens up and you see US Vintage, UK Vintage 1, UK Vintage 2, US Modern, UK Modern, Digital 1, and Digital 2. So you're able to go to the low frequency, select uh, US Modern, go to the high frequency, select Digital 2, go to the mids and select uh, UK Modern. So you could customize this. That's what I like about this plugin. Now, the other thing that I like about this plugin is the analyzer. Over here, I have this uh, kick drum. Let me select it. Check this out. Nice, I really like that. It shows you the energy, shows you the peaks, and it also has this option, freeze and peak hold. Check it out. And let's look at uh, peak hold. And over here we have this uh, piano, which is pretty cool. You see all the notes. If you click on any of them, check this out, this moves. So you could either do it like this, or you could just grab it here and just play around with it, you see? Actually, let me reset the whole entire uh, plugin. There we go. Over here, we have high pass filter and the low pass filter. So you have this analog option here. Now, usually the analog, I like to keep it off, but it just depends on the type of plugin. For example, on the master bus, I usually like to have the Waves MPX. And if you bring in the noise, you can hear it. If I have the MPX on, and for example, let's use the Chris Lord LG, our compressor. If I have five of those and I'll turn on the analog, you can hear all that noise. You don't want to introduce so much noise to the session. So the way I like to do it, I like to keep the analog off and just, and just keep the analog noise on the master bus. That's just the way I like to do it. I'm pretty sure you guys work differently. Depending on what I'm working, sometimes on a vocal, I may keep the analog on. On the snare, I may keep the analog on. It just depends on what I'm working on. But most of the time, it's off. But there you go, that's the HEQ. I really think it's a nice, powerful equalizer. I'm gonna keep playing around with it. I wanna start mixing a song and I wanna use this and see what I could do with this plugin here. But anyway, guys, check the description out. There's gonna be a link to the Wave site. Go demo the plugin, it requires an iLock. Make sure you have an iLock before you try to apply for the demo. You see the yellow button, click that, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. And also in the description, you're gonna have a link to my Twitter, go follow me there. And also you're gonna have a link to uh, Google Plus. So check that out later guys.